Okay, hello out there. Welcome to the Artistic Talent Show. And my name is Melvin Isaac. I'm your producer and artist, videography, and also the host. So today we will be talking about uh, various of things that I'm doing. So this way you get an idea of how the artistic talent helps out the community of Brooklyn. First, the Artistic Talent is a non for profit organization uh, that I built and is a 5013C. And it's for transforming young lives through the arts. So it'll change their life around just through the arts, whether they can uh, draw. Uh, they can sing, rap, poetry, uh, uh, lots of other stuff that young people have because they was gifted uh, through their birth uh, with this talent. So they was born with this gift. So what I do is pull it out. And I also inspire uh, anyone that is uh, watching the show or listening to give them a, a pretty much good direction of which way they supposed to be going in order to develop their talent, which they have been given. So with this talent uh, that I have, uh, basically, you know, I'm just the messenger because I was born with this talent and this gift through the grace of God, but I'm the messenger uh, to deliver this message to the world. And how do I deliver it? Through my art and through the uh, TV session and the podcast. So it's a process. So like I said, all I am is just the messenger and I deliver this message through my art, through the podcast, and through the young people that develop their talent. Now, a number of things that I do do uh, to develop this is I videotape uh, art auctions, and there is a lot of famous artists that share their views through their art, so that is another message that I deliver to the community where they are educating others that's out there about their art. And art takes on a lot of different forms and shapes. So I videotape art galleries, art exhibits, and events that people have in their neighborhood, which is in the park, on the street, or wherever it might be at. So by me videotaping it is delivering a message to others that's out there because in that videotape you have a lot of people, a lot of young people that uh, is delivering their message through their talent and their gift, whether they're singing, they're dancing, they're rapping, or whatever it might be. So this is my way of delivering the message through videotaping these particular events. Weddings and baby shower is another way I deliver the message because I videotape uh, people that wants me to videotape their weddings or their baby shower. And that's another way of me delivering the message to you. And lastly is uh, is churches call me to videotape the pastor that is delivering the message uh, to the congregation of the word to uplift their spirit. So that is another way of me uh, delivering the message through 
the uh, words of a pastor uh, delivering a message to the congregation to, to save souls, to save lost souls, to uplift uh, people that is having difficult of communicating with their own self and their spirit or develop who they really are and why they're here. So there's a lot of people that needs help and lost their direction of whatever might cause them to lose their direction. And it's various of things that's there. Uh, for example, uh, a bad marriage, alcoholism, drug, uh, crime. It's so many things, abuse. So their direction have been distorted of who they are. So through what they do is look for help. And so by them coming to church, the pastor delivering the message through some of the verses in the Bible to help them to overcome their difficulty. And uh, so this is what I do. I deliver the message, and that's all I am is the messenger, and I deliver it through my art. So it's my purpose of, of uh, here or being on this earth to do these things. And uh, this is a great thing. I think this is, this is a fantastic, marvelous, uh, beautiful thing to have. So here I am at the uh, Brick Art Medium. And what I'm doing is sharing this information to you. And by me sharing this information, uh, it helps to get this message out to others that needs to hear these things. So I will be having a lot of different people come on to the show to share their gift and talent. And a lot of them that I already interviewed is have talent but never knew they had these gifts. Uh, they're in doubt with themselves. So what I do is bring it out of them and let them see themselves. And then they start recognizing because they got this talent uh, from birth. They already have it. They just didn't know that this talent was that great that's inside of them. So this is what I do. And you're going to see this through a lot of people that comes on the show and you will see them delivering their talent and their gift to you. And possibly that might inspire you to want to come and deliver your talent and blossom to the person that you are. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on that uh, I'd like to share with you and I would like you to share with me on this show right here. Now, my show comes on every Monday and Wednesday from 1 in the morning to 11 a.m., and again at 4 p.m. And it's on Cable Vision 67 and Verizon 5042 every Monday and Wednesday from 1 in the morning, 11 a.m., and 4 p.m. Monday and Wednesday, Cable Vision 67 and Verizon 5042. So there you have it. And basically, that's what I do to inspire 
to motivate and uplift anyone that wants to be uplifted, uh, that have talent that they've been born with and they want to share. So it'd be a blessing if you could just respond to what I'm saying to you and respond back to me and let me know, you know, what what would you like to do? Would you like to share your talent? You like to you like the show? You like what I'm saying? And uh especially the uh other artists that you're gonna see. So you can contact me and you can visit my website. To contact me is is uh my email is M I S A A C 718 at yahoo.com. My number is 646 784 3902. And my website is www.artistictalentsinc.web. Dot com, and I would have that information come back across to you so this way you could see it again. All right? So there is uh, another event that I'm a member of. It's called the, uh, the Fulton Art Fair, and I'm going to share that information with you as well about what they do and what I do to uh, help them build the organization. And one of the things, uh, well, first of all, you can go to the website, is uh, you just type in, and I'm gonna put that across, is the Fulton Fair.net. So it's the Fulton Fair.net and you just go to their website, and then you will see I'm the developer of the website. So I developed the website, and you're gonna see all kinds of events, activity that goes on. One of the uh, events that's coming up now is uh, comes up every June, and uh, is by the Fulton Art Fair, and is a great event and it's right across the street from the Boys and Girls High School. It's on Fulton. And I'm gonna share that exact information with you so this way you can, you can have all the information with that. It's a jury trial for artists where they pick out the best art and you would get a prize for it. They get kids, activity for kids, uh, prizes, it's always a jazz uh, band that comes there, and uh, it's, it's, it's excellent. So I want to share that information with you. And I just helped them out with a, it's from the Medium Share Program, which is here at Brick. And I want to share that with you as well the Medium Share Program uh, promote a uh, promo for the Fulton Arts uh, organization, which is, uh, it takes you real quick about the history of the Fulton Art Fair and where they're at now. So it's very good. I'm going to share that with you as well, and that way you can see it. So uh, the last part is the uh, veterans. And I definitely want to share that with you, that what I'm doing for the, uh, uh, the veterans. Excellent. Excellent. And you're going to see that as well, that I'm doing for the veterans. Uh, it's a good veteran program. And... Uh, you would see 
various veterans come up and they're going to be sharing uh, what they have to offer to veterans. Uh, I'm a Vietnam era veteran. So there was a lot of stuff that was going on at that particular time for Vietnam era veterans. And uh, a lot of it, to me, it was, it's pretty bad at that particular time. But what's going on now is, is to give back to veterans. Uh, you have a, still have a, a lot of homeless veterans that's still on the streets that is still going through a lot of changes because at that particular time, it's still indebted in their brain and how they react to things because a lot of them came back in the Vietnam era so many years ago with post-traumatic stress, aging orange. I mean, a lot of them went over there and lost their leg, uh, eyesight, their arm, uh, lost their mind, and they was never debriefed it. Uh, it was no parade or welcome you back home. It was just terrible. Uh, the veteran from Vietnam era felt that the country had, had just, uh, just left them. It, it wasn't no excuse. They, they was told what to do, and they did, but they came back, and uh, this is the way the people treat them. They was against, a lot of people was against the war. Uh, they was calling them baby killers. They were spitting on them, throwing garbage at them. I mean, it was terrible. So, but the veterans still held on, and they still continue to uh, live the right way, but a lot of them became, you know, uh, involved with, uh, became drug addicts, alcoholism, a lot of them got in prison. I mean, they was lost. It was terrible. So what I do is, uh, is like an advocate for veterans. So I bring veterans here and it's therapeutic to share the, what they've been through and it helps out. So there is a, a lot of different programs now for veterans, and one of them is called the Stand Down Program. And what that do is tell veterans, take a break. They, go, they got your back. So in that program, they will come with food, clothing, uh, medical, housing, everything, just for veterans. And uh, I want to share that with you where you could see it as well. And I want to share a lot of other stuff with you, you know, with the Fulton office. So these are things that I'm doing. And like I said, I'm just the messenger. All I'm doing is just delivering the message. And that's my purpose. And I have a gift to do that. And, and now you can see all the different gifts that I have to deliver that message. So that's where we at right now. Uh, just contact me if you like this show and it's, it's a lot of good information, the living the message, the, the uh, art galleries, the events, uh, the uh, veteran situation. And it's your gift and talent that you have to offer. Uh, so you'll see all of this. I want to share different videos with you, what I do. And that way you can understand what's going on. So that's what I'm going to do now. I want to share a video, a few of them, and then I'm going to come back. Uh, and then I'm going to end the show and I would hope that you would respond to what I'm doing. Uh, even if you're not ready for your gifts and talent, but just share with me, uh, 
that you like this show and you want to share with other people to start watching it on Monday and Wednesday at the time that I want to bring it up again, okay? So let me start sharing this few videos with you about what I'm doing. Okay, here's the first one, and this is the Fulton Art Fair. I'll just show you some of this. My name is Marcy Wilson, and I'm here to celebrate the 60th anniversary for the Fulton Art Fair. 60 years is a very long time. It's very important that we do celebrate our artists, our black artists. And one of the things that I really, really want to express more than anything else is that we as a people must invest in black art. We must buy and support our black artists. Good afternoon, Mr. Neal. I know you've been a member of the Fulton Art Fair since, gee, since, since the beginning, in 1958. How did you meet Mr. Shirley Hawkins? Well, I get uh, a call from a friend of mine, Laura Scotty, who was the wife of uh, one of the artists in the Fulton Art Fair, Leo Cotton. And she told me that uh, there was someone that wanted to start the uh, uh, an exhibition at Fulton Park. This is Shirley Hawkins. When I come out of my funeral home, my place of business, I like to take a walk through my Bedford Stuyvesant neighborhood. I see my neighbors enjoying life. They are walking their dogs, the children are playing games in the street, and the adults are out socializing and shopping for their dinners. I hear all the time how bad Bed-Stuy is. Bedford-Stuyvesant is a great neighborhood to live in, a hidden gem. I wonder, how can I create a more positive image of Bedford-Stuyvesant? I want everyone to know about the many talented artists who live here, like Ernest Critchlow and Jacob Lawrence. Hmm, let me think. I will start an art group with my dear friend, Dolores Cardi, and call it the Fulton Art Fair. I will get some musicians to come and play their instruments. This park would be a great place for artists to display their work. I will get some artists to come out to Robert Fulton Park and hang their work on the fence. People can come and see the creativity that surrounds them. We can make a weekend of it all and call it Fulton Art Fair on the Fence. What was life like in Bedford-Stuyvesant back in 1958? It was very, very lively. The park was uh, fantastic. Uh, you know, we had uh, an exhibition with maybe uh, 80 to 100 artists in wow. maybe the entire park. That's impressive. And uh, uh, it was unlike uh, anything that you've seen today because the group uh, boys and girls high school was the, not the there. The school right behind us. There was uh, a bunch of clubs, the Monterey Club, the Berry Brothers, uh, the famous Berry Brothers tap dancers. No, yeah. They had a club there. 
in the Tip Top Club, mm -hmm. and there was entertainment in those places. So there was contact with the entertainers and the artists uh, at the fair here. So tell me about some of the other artists who were involved with Fulton Art Fair back in the, back in the day. Richard Mayhew was one of those. Okay. Tom Feelings, okay. Al Hollingsworth, Matt Pinkney, mm -hmm. Louis mm -hmm. Belisle, mm -hmm. Vivian Skyler Key, who was mm -hmm. a mentor of mine. Mm -hmm. She was uh, here, a uh, fantastic sculptor and painter. And um, Leo Cardi, mm -hmm. who was um, uh, the husband of Dolores Cardi, who, who without Dolores Cardi, I don't think the Fulton Art Fair would have survived. Well, let me ask you, since you've been here from the beginning to the present, what, how do you see it progressing for the future? Well, uh, it was uh, much more uh, lively back then, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that uh, 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 more interest will be uh, generated uh, so that we'll get more and more participants in the fair so we can get it back to the way it was uh, back then when we started. And uh, I see it growing. I see it, it, it's coming alive again. So. Mm -hmm. Hopefully in the future, it'll continue to grow. I want to thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you sitting here on the bench on this wonderful fall day with me. I'm glad to be here and be a part of the Fulton Art Fair. And we're glad to have you. Thank you so much.